Hi. This presentation for CHI 2024, titled Mitigating Barriers for Public Social Interaction with Neuronomous Communication, showcases a collaboration between MIT and the Allen Institute for AI. My name is Nouran Soliman, and along with my co-authors, we've explored innovative solutions to improve public social interaction online using neuronomous communication. Online communities like Reddit, Facebook, and Twitter have completely changed public engagement, catering to nuanced information needs that traditional searchers can't always address, such as in personal and health-related areas. The strength of these online communities lies in the personal insights and trustworthiness they offer, leveraging the diverse experiences of their users. While offering vast opportunities for engagement and information exchange, online communities are riddled with challenges that hinder equitable participation. Users may hesitate to engage due to their fear of incurring reciprocity obligations, feeling uneasy about the expectation to reciprocate help received. Privacy concerns also play a significant role as individuals may need to reveal personal information to receive relevant advice. The challenges culminate in the realm of community hierarchies where power dynamics and established pecking orders further deter engagement. Newcomers or those perceived as lower in the community's hierarchy may feel intimidated or unwelcome, fearing their contributions might disrupt existing relationships or simply go unrecognized. This hierarchical structure stifles the open exchange of ideas and information crucial for the vibrancy and growth of online communities. These social barriers are easy to recognize among various social structures and communities. In this paper, we focus on the academic community as a test bed. Academia is a rigid social structure, widely known to be hierarchical, with many signals for conveying status and prestige, which creates potential professional risks and competition. Although these social considerations are pronounced in the academic community due to its structure, a growing number of its academics are drawn to social networking platforms like Twitter, Academia, and ResearchGate for the accessibility and visibility they offer to their research. Despite the benefits of public scholarly engagement, social barriers are further amplified during public interactions due to the hierarchical structure and competitive nature of academia, along with the permanent nature of these online spaces, which introduces significant professional risks. Every public engagement holds the potential to impact one's social standing and by extension their career progression, making these interactions high stakes. This dynamic often leads to online academic spaces being dominated by established scholars, pushing emerging voices towards more private spaces for discourse. Now, what are some of the existing solutions to mitigate social barriers in online spaces? One solution is anonymity. Although anonymity alleviates social pressure, it also comes with its challenges, such as motivating toxic behaviors, demotivating engagement, and obscuring social context. This can be shown in Economics Job Market Rumors website, which is an academic forum for economists to have discourse. Another solution is pseudonymity, which provides a degree of privacy and a sense of accountability. However, the nature of the pseudonym, which is persistent, has negative implications. For example, negative reputations stick. Another challenge is all past information is revealed when you're creating a new contribution. Therefore, it's very hard to show a specific aspect of your identity. We propose marinimity, which basically is selectively revealing different facets and social cues of identity based on conversation. For example, as a researcher, if I want to make a contribution, I can describe my identity as a PhD student in HCI at MIT who has one to five publications at CCW and CHI. Now, what does the nature of public academic and help-seeking interactions of scholars look like? To explore this question, we conducted a formative study. In this study, our goal was to delve into the challenges faced by academics during crucial public interactions, especially with senior figures. Our findings highlight Twitter's vital role for scholars in discovering research and connecting with the scientific community. Despite its benefits, academics remain cautious about engaging publicly due to concerns about their image and fear of being scrutinized or judged particularly in front of seniors. Our study also revealed a, pre a preference for partial anonymity to mitigate social anxiety while maintaining credibility. We came up with six design goals for our Meronymity model. The first design goal is facilitating Meronymous posts. We aim to enable users to engage through Meronymous posts, enhancing interaction depth while maintaining privacy. The second design goal is encouraging engagement. We design for Meronymity to motivate users to connect and interact with content that carries a sense of personal identity. The third design goal is tailoring responses. By providing selective identity signals, responses can be more personalized, fostering a richer dialogue that considers context and the individual behind each post. 
The fourth design goal is verifiability for trust. This goal ensures that the identity signals underpinning Mirinimity are verifiable, fostering a trustworthy environment. The fifth de design goal is accountability measures. Addressing potential misuse, we integrate accountability within Marinimity to deter negative behavior and maintain a respectful discourse. The sixth design goal is promoting inclusive visibility. Recognizing the challenge for individuals with fewer connections, we incorporate mechanisms to enhance the visibility of their content, ensuring a diverse range of voices are heard. In our pro proposed Marinimity framework, we navigate through the roles and interactions of five pivotal stakeholders, poster, potential and desired responders, endorser, and helpers. Starting with a poster, this is the individual that has an information uh, inquiry need. Our framework empowers them to selectively re reveal aspects of their identity. Moving to the responders, we differentiate between potential responders, the broader community with varying degree of relevance to the poster's in inquiry and the desired responders, those with the precise expertise or insights crucial for addressing the poster's need. This distinction allows for tailoring engagement strategies, ensuring that queries reach those who are best equipped to respond. By equipping posters with tools to publicly share verified identity signals, such as their community rank expertise or institutional affiliations, we not only enhance their post trustworthiness, but also provide responders with valuable context. This uh, context enriches interaction, enabling responders to tailor their engagement to the poster's background and needs, maintaining the delicate balance between anonymity and meaningful interaction. Furthermore, we address challenges such as the transient nature of posts on platforms and the potential for overlooked queries by introducing a mechanism for personalization of identity signals in direct messaging. This allows posters to share more personalized identity markers with the desired responders in a private setting. Next, the role of the endorser. The, the endorser introduces a layer of trust and credibility. The poster can leverage their connection to another individual with a stronger reputation or network, adding weight to their presence and queries within the community. This multifaceted approach not only enhances the interaction quality, but also introduces a degree of verification and accountability. Finally, helpers will, with their direct connections to the poster serve as amplifiers for the query, extending its reach and visibility within the community. We incorporate our Marinimity model in a system named Letweacher. Letweacher is a socially sensitive tool that supports scientists in exchanging requests and recommendations of research papers on Twitter and Mastodon. Consider this scenario. Alice, a graduate student focused on trust in AI, faces a common social challenge in academia, hesitation to directly approach domain experts and difficulty in obtaining relevant literature. See, after signing up to Letweacher and providing her semantic scholar author profile, Alice adds her advisor, Mark, as her endorser to lend her queries more credibility and visibility. This enables Alice to use the identity aspects of her endorser along with hers in her posts. Letweacher supports four categories of endorser relationships, advisor, collaborator, lab mate, or a fellow researcher. This is reflected in the relationship description when using identity signals of the endorser. The endorsement request is sent to the endorser where they can determine the relationship category and permission to use their name publicly in posts. Endorsement is also required if users don't have previous publication history for verification and accountability. Alice then proceeds to ask her question. The video shows a general demo of the flow of asking a question through the Twitcher. The user can compose their question, then start composing their mirror name, which consists of a number of identity signals. Verified academic identity signals of the user and their endorser are computed by the Twitcher from their publication history acquired from Semantic Scholar API. These identity signals encompass elements such as the user's full name, Twitter handle, academic affiliations, citations and publication metrics, academic seniority, prior publication venues and co-authorship networks. The user can select any set of their own or their endorser's signals to construct their mirror name. Visualization on the right reflects the changes in the identity and the question text. The user can also show their name and Twitter handle or just keep themselves as an anonymous poster. Next, the user can add experts relevant to their question by providing their semantic scholar author profile URL and contact email or Twitter handle. Letweacher then computes relational identity signals between the user and the expert and adds them as signals from which users can personalize their identity more to the experts. Relational signals encompass bidirectional relationships of citations, co-authorship, and follows between the user and the expert on Twitter. The user can start selecting their own signals 
The same relational signals are computed for the endorser and the expert. This dynamic is intended to mirror scenarios like an advisor introducing their student to senior colleagues at conferences. The user then can add trusted friends as helpers to support them in amplifying the visibility of their question by resharing it. Back to Alice. Upon submission, Letweacher disseminates Alice's inquiry to dedicated Letweacher accounts on Twitter and Mastodon, showcasing her chosen identity signals, and directly notifies Rita and Dave of the new post. Letweacher also invites Rita by I at mentioning her publicly in the Twitter thread as a recognition of her relevant expertise to further grab her attention. Rita, recognizing the reference to Mark, feels compelled to offer her guidance directly to the public Twitter thread from her account. Concurrently, Dave amplifies Alice's query on his social network, attracting further attention, including Matt, an AI peer. Inspired by the ongoing conversation but feeling shy, Matt also contributes under a meronym through Litweecher using a similar interface as asking a question. Finally, Alice receives a notification to moderate the meronymous contribution, Alice then chooses to accept the contribution, and then the contribution gets cross-posted to the thread of the conversation, both on Twitter and Mastodon. This is an example thread for Alice's user scenario. To evaluate the system, we aim to explore how participants interacted with and perceived the key features of our system for seeking help, comparing it to their usual approaches. We deployed the Twitter in a one-month field study for evaluation. Our study adopted a within-subject design, offering a comparative lens against traditional inquiry methods. Participants altered between using the Twitter for two tasks and their preferred method for another two, counterbalancing to mitigate order effects. In the system condition, participants engaged in asking a question and answering others using the Twitter. The baseline condition allowed participants the freedom to employ any method for their inquiries. Reflective surveys captured the essence of each task, focusing on the novelty of responses and the participants' experiences and perception. Including the study, a, a post-study interview where participants reflected on their experience, discussing their thoughts, feelings, and perceptions surrounding the question asking and answering using both the system and traditional methods. Next, we discuss some of our results. For extensive results, please visit our paper. Marinimity significantly uplifted junior researchers' confidence in public academic interactions, making it easier to approach a broader spectrum of experts. The fear of judgment, a common barrier identified in our baseline condition, was notably diminished. Participants like P10 found Marinimity empowering, stating, I like that I could invite experts that I knew of, but I might feel a bit intimidated by. I felt like this was a good opportunity to somehow connect with these experts. This has also been quantitatively reflected, as the graph on the left shows how in the system condition participants reached out to experts they are less familiar with. The strategic revelation of identity aspects about oneself and endorser played a pivotal role in lending credibility to posts. For example, one participant described this in the following quote, Kai is very popular, that's why I think mentioning Kai would be a good way to ensure my credibility. Participants also tried to find connections between them and the experts by trying to find if they ever collaborated with someone they already know. Mironymous identities also provided context to inquiries and tailoring responses. One participant emphasized the intentionality behind identity presentations, saying, when I go through all the descriptors for how I want to present myself, what I'm actually doing is thinking of what kind of recommendations I want to get. Participants experienced a profound sense of validation and excitement through their engagements on the platform. For example, one participant shared their thrill of receiving community endorsements saying, seeing three retweets, I was like, oh my gosh, I felt really excited. Why didn't I share my name? Moreover, identities motivated a sense of connection. As one participant reflected, I think it's interesting. This person might be someone I want to know personally. Identity signals also motivated participants to engage more deeply with the queries. This was evident in cases where some participants expressed how an identity really inspired them to try to find a good reference, and they even went beyond their expertise doing a mini-literature review. While the platform has shown promising results in facilitating scholarly discourse, participants identified areas for enhancement. The desire for more personal connections alongside public discussions was evident, with one participant expressing, you cannot go into DMs and talk about the topic a bit more when they were talking about Litweacher. Therefore, participants viewed Litweacher as a complementary tool to be used when asking the hard questions, while other one-to-one -one methods are more convenient when the question requires a follow-up. Furthermore, the platform served as a valuable archive of inquiries. As one participant put it, the questions I saw were very interesting. Some of the questions 
are questions that I had, but I just didn't think to ask. And going through the questions, I just thought I might come back to them. These contributions would also be an archive for someone who's exploring the field. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.